A lot can be said about Franco Prevedello, uh, mainly that um, uh, he is a great entrepreneur, a great businessman, uh, that he has been very successful in everything that he's done. But to me and to my family, Franco is a lot more. He is the person who actually helped us come here to Canada. So that's why this interview means a lot to me personally as well. What I remember about Franco, the first time I met him was actually here. He came to the airport to pick us up and he didn't even know us back then. We knew his brother. And, you know, after a few years, when I asked him, Franco, why did you come and pick us up from the airport yourself? You drove us home, you prepared dinner for us. Uh, I said, why did you do that for us? And he said, because my brother had told me that you guys came from very good families um, and that you were good people. So to me, that sums up what Franco is um, to both the community in Toronto and, and as a person as well. So when I had the chance to do this interview, I was honored, um, both on a personal and a professional level, of course. So when we talk about a conversation with Franco Prevedello, there's a couple of things that you will not find in this interview. And that is self-complacency, self-celebration. Um, what you will find is a man who values family, most of all, who is devoted to his wife, Barbara, and his daughters. And you will find a person that values challenging himself and starting anew every day, uh, more than anything else. So I think it's a truly inspiring interview to read. And I do believe that Franco Prevedello is a national treasure. Identita series, an editorial project by Eco Canada, features interviews with prominent figures within the Italian Canadian community, exploring themes of identity and community direction. The project focuses on promoting Italian excellence and bolstering the connection between the local business community and the Italian businesses, their services and products, which have contributed to the dissemination of the Made in Italy culture in this area. As our former executive director, Corrado Paina, stated, today there is no more challenging word than identità. Without it, we're nobody. Yet, even when we believe we possess it, are we truly sure of who we are? This is the great question of our time. Those who leave their homeland to live elsewhere often grapple most deeply with the concept of identity. This book series aims to bring clarity and attention to this crucial challenge facing society today. The first three books of the series feature respectively Canadian Senator Consiglio Di Nino, Dr. Keris Massarella, and APMA President Flavio Volpe. This fourth book in the series focuses on Franco Prevedello, a remarkable man whose influence on Toronto and the Italian-Canadian community remains significant. Prevedello is widely known as the master of fine dining and a successful entrepreneur and restaurateur. He played a pivotal role in opening 19 restaurants in Toronto and is credited with training many of the city's most talented chefs and with running a successful wine and spirit agency. A special thank you goes to the sponsors that made the publication, the publication of this book possible. Monte Cassino Hotel and Venue, Mirabella Development and Torrent Partners. If you're interested in learning more about Franco Prevedello, the book is available for purchase on our website. We look forward to welcoming you to the presentation of the next installment of the series. Thank you.